Well, good day, smart traders. I trust each and every one of you are ready for another profitable day within the market. Let's kick things off by having a look at today's economic calendar. Today's economic calendar doesn't have much in store for the UK or US session. The only Black Star event was during the Asian session this morning at half past five, with the Australian interest rate decision seeing a 25 basis point increase, going from 3.1% to a 3.35%. Let's move on by having a look at what's making headlines within the financial markets today. In currency news, the dollar surged to a three-week high against the euro this morning, with traders expecting the US Federal Reserve to lift its benchmark rate above 5%. To squeeze inflation after data showed, the labor market remains strong. Markets are still reeling from the shock of Friday's job report, which showed that the non-farm payroll surged by an eye-watering 517,000 jobs in January, well above expectations. The report, which wrong-footed traders banking on an imminent pause in the Fed's rate hike cycle, gave the greenback a leg up and sent the pound tumbling to a one-month low of $1.20 in the previous session. Now let's move over and see what's making headlines on Wall Street. US indices finished the regular session lower as rising yields put pressure on risk-sensitive assets ahead of key speeches said to be delivered by the Federal Reserve officials later this afternoon. Additionally, RBC Capital raised its price target on Tesla to $223 from its $186 currently turning their forecast bullish on this specific stock. The firm said, and I quote, that Tesla is demonstrating that they can spur demand growth while maintaining margins above 20%, a positive for the near and long-term outlook. Competition is responding, yes, but we do wonder about the long-term sustainability of these competitors as price cuts give more challenging profit margins. Now let's head over to commodities. Oil prices rose for a second straight session this morning, driven by optimism about recovering demand in China and concerns over supply shortages following the shutdown of a major export terminal after an earthquake in Turkey. The International Energy Agency expects half of this year's global oil demand growth to come from China. Saudi Arabia, the world's top oil exporter, also raised prices for its flagship crude for Asian buyers for the first time in six months amid expectations of oil demand recovery, especially from China. Gold prices steadied at a near one-month low amid continued pressure from a strengthening dollar and treasury yields. With focus now turning to economic cues from talks by Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell later today, the yellow metal had a muted session yesterday after suffering its worst decline in seven months as a stronger than expected US job data showed markets broadly shift their expectations for interest rate hikes by the Fed. And finally, let's finish things off with cryptocurrencies. Blockchain data shows that out of the top meme-inspired cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, the majority of investors in the latter are still underwater while the majority of investors in the former are in a state of profit. According to data from blockchain analyst firm Into the Block, around 63% of Dogecoin holders are still in a state of profit, while only 45% of Shiba Inu investors are still in a state of profit. Even though over the past 12 months, the performance of both these meme-inspired cryptocurrencies have been somewhat similar. So that is it from us here at Smart Online Trader. Should you be interested in any additional services that we offer, kindly get in touch with us or simply click on one of the links in the description below. As always, may the best be with you. Cheers.